What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm back with another fragrance review. Today I am reviewing another Latafa fragrance, because you know I love Latafa. But this is Latafa's El Jazzy. Okay, this is the box. Latafa's El Jazzy. It's a looking box. You know, it's green, got gold. Um, doesn't have the huge. Oh, there it is. It does. <laughs> the little hologram. So, yeah. And this is the bottle. 100ml, I believe. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. 100ml. Heavy. Very heavy bottle. Okay, the glass in this is quite thick. So, this is a very, very heavy bottle. So, you see the colour is sort of a goldish sort of um, liquid. So, goldish liquid. The cap for this, I wouldn't advise lifting it from a cap. Um, working there, but normally I would advise that you can't really pick it up from a cap. Okay. Um, so let's see what the distribution's like. Okay. So the optimizer's like. Now, I'll be honest. Would prefer if it was a bit stronger, it doesn't really go that far as you can see. You know, it could be a bit could be a bit stronger in terms of the distribution space. However, the smell is beautiful. It's it's woody, it's you got this you could smell the citrus in there. Um it's a bit spicy. I'm just gonna go over let me just go over the notes real quick. I always forget to, you know. Um, so I'll just go over the notes and get that out of the way. So the base notes are, um, the top notes are citrus, orange, cardamom, lavender, martel. The middle notes are patchouli, pepper, lily of the valley, cinnamon leaf. And the base notes are ambroxan, woodsy notes, amber, cedar, oak moss, and vetiver. So those are the notes that you're looking at with this beautiful bottle here. Now, in terms of uh, longevity, I would say you get a good five to six hours with this. Um, and once again, that's depending on your skin and depending on whether you want to spray it on your skin or clothes. But I've got a good five to six hours out of this. I think it is a compliment getter. Um, doesn't project as much as I would like it to. I would prefer if it projected a bit more off, off you. So it's quite mid-range. I wouldn't say too close but it's quite a mid-range um scent you know within sort of three meters around that then the person wouldn't easily smell it it's not sort of a uh, right across the room um pickup scent I, I wouldn't say but maybe it's different on different people's skin but it is a very nice very 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 nice scent it's it is strong um now it is a unisex scent but i would say this is more masculine in my opinion I think it's more catered towards the, the men uh, with this particular scent. That being said, obviously, if a woman wants to wear it, then by all means she can. Um, but yeah, I've heard it being compared to the blues, um, the Chanel de Blue. I don't really, personally, I don't really smell that. That's my personal thing, but I've heard it be compared to some of those, those blue scents. So it's... It's got that sort of DNA, though. You know, it's, it's, it's in that realm. But, yeah, um, price-wise, what did I get this for? I think it was £14, maybe. 12 maybe 14 I can't quite remember now. But um, you can get it off Amazon for about 12 99 or so. So, once again, on the top of fragrance, you've got 100 mil, 12 99 for a five- to six-hour fragrance. That smells amazing. You know, it smells great. Like I said, it's not going to project the most. So if you're looking for a little bit more subtlety, then this is the one for you. So this is Latafa's Al, um, Al Jazzy, if I say it right. Latafa's Al Jazzy. Right. Until next time, peace.